Hello guys, this is Ara Tutorials and welcome to the second part of my lighting guide of professional Simul 4G lighting guide and I'm just gonna render this preview and show you what we're gonna be creating today. So there is quite a lot of tutorials done on this matter on YouTube but I'm just gonna go over it because uh, it's you know something uh, it's like a tip that I can give you when you're creating lighting and if you want to create this nice elegant looking studio well it's not really a studio it's actually something else and uh, yeah it looks pretty cool so I thought I'd do a tutorial on that uh, so yeah let's go to file new within cinema 4d let's create a text right off the bat go to MoGraph, mo text and type in whatever you like and then change the font as always just edit the text the way you like uh, what is this genuine no no uh, let's try the EA font okay increase depth caps fill it cap fill it cap I'm creating a text so that we have something to look at once we create our studio and if you go back to objects tab uh, select a line to middle and uh, click on floor to add floor or just select floor right here and uh, select a background and right click on the floor go to cinema 4d tags compositing this is a really cool feature here you can uh, make things invisible so if you deselect scene by camera and render it you won't be able to see it whatever object you added it to and uh, then there's scene by rays and stuff like that lots of settings sometimes they're useful and um, yeah in this case we wanna select compositing background and if we render this as you can see there's no end or uh, it kind of goes gradiently into the background the floor but if I go back to the compositing settings if I click on this little tag here and if I deselect compositing background and render it then as you can see there's a difference in color and there's like a line it doesn't look really good so select compositing background okay and you also have to make sure that the floor and the background are the same color so let's create a new color so double click on the materials tab double click on the new material then go to color select which color you like uh, I'll go with a really light um, orange very light orange and yeah let's drag that onto the background and onto the floor and if we render you can see they're they're the same color okay uh, now let's go to edit render settings and um, in output tab change the width to 1280 and the height to 720 that's the usual videos on YouTube that's the resolution they use and if you render this there's no more corners where well, they're they're kind of small but in the final render you won't see those um, those blue colored corners that are there by default that's because you changed the resolution okay now let's uh, let's create a plane so go to objects tab plane and I went over this in the last part uh, you can use any object in Cinema 4D to create light with you only need to create a material that will uh, project light so if we after you create your plane drag it upwards drag it over the text and select the spinning tool and turn it okay and let's just zoom out a little bit and put it farther up okay now uh, let's create a new material so double click on the materials tab double click on the new material 
and um, go to luminance and uh, in luminance increase the brightness a little bit more and go to color and select orange and uh, just a slight orange color and uh, increase the brightness to like uh, 700 or 1000 somewhere around there actually a little bit less okay and that's just gonna give us a little bit of a tint in the color in the light and uh, drag this over to the plane so now we, we have a luminescent plane and the only thing we need to add now is oh my parrot is climbing on my hand while I'm doing this <laughs> um, and if we go to render settings and go to effect add ambient occlusion and we go to effect again add global illumination if you don't have these two settings you might you probably are using a simple version of cinema 4d or some kind of a demo usually standard versions of cinema 4d have this and in global illumination go to air dense catch put the stochastic samples to low and record density to low and let's zoom in here to the text and let's render and see um, so that's we're kind of getting uh, the result here but I don't like that the background is not um, it's it doesn't have enough color it's really white so let's um, let's not look on this material that we use for the uh, background and the floor and go to color and add just a little bit more of a orange tint a little bit less maybe okay and let's try again let's try rendering again okay so this is almost uh, what I wanted uh, basically what I want is this small area here to be bright from the light uh, from the plane and the rest of it to be kind of uh, one color and that makes a really cool effect but you can play around with color and you know improve it if you like so yeah this is pretty much it guys uh, now the last thing to do is uh, create a material for the text but that's a whole other topic so yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this um, please like this video for me doing this tutorial with my parrot sitting on my hand and biting me and yeah if you like if you like my videos please subscribe and see you guys later